the freaky truth behind AMC hitting $100,000 per share might just shock you. And I mean this to say that AMC could easily go to $100,000 per share if these events do happen. This is probably not something you guys are even thinking about or have on your radar. So I do want to make a video about this, not saying it is necessarily going to happen, but at this current moment, it seems logical that some institutions or just big companies companies may plot to do this in the apes favor as well as their own favor as well this happened with volkswagen and i do want to bring it to your guys' attention so let's not waste any time let me introduce myself my name is the creative investor or tyler whatever you guys want to call me we focus on amc lucid other cryptos that ultimately will make you guys a lot of money some trades here and there so if you guys are new to the channel and that does interest you growing your net worth as fast as possible hit that subscribe button like the video comment down below let me know what you think about my opinion on this and amc ultimately hitting one hundred thousand dollars per share do you think this is logical could this happen let me know your guys opinion on that and without any further ado let's get straight into this video and what this actually does come down to some people think this is possible some people think this is not possible but to know what is actually possible or what is reasonable we have to look back at history and this is something that you guys must fully understand is what happened with volkswagen so i just googled what caused the volkswagen short squeeze to try to put this in the best you know wordage possible to make it as clear as possible because i have an example after this that really breaks it down in the simplest terms possible but this also does a good job so it says panic among short sellers set in and the, su the supply demand imbalance triggered a monumental short squeeze that drove its share price up from 210 uh, euros to more than 1,000 euros in less than two days. Indeed, Volkswagen became the world's largest company by market value on October 28th. And what is very important, the only thing that is really important out of this to pull out is where this is highlighted and the darker letters. It says, and the supply demand in balance that means that porsche essentially bought up pretty much all of the shares of volkswagen you guys can see right here this says the kicker was that porsche owned 43 percent of volkswagen shares 32 percent in options and the government owned 20.2 percent as you can see this left very little that could be purchased by anybody else in plain terms it meant that the actual available flow went down from 45% of outstanding shares to around just 1% of outstanding shares. And that is why AMC is the best opportunity I have ever seen in my four short years of investing so far. That is why I am so heavy in AMC, because if we do take a look at the Fintel data, we can see that institutional owners, which typically don't move shares around too much, uh, is at about 27 percent and well and this relatively stays the same around you know 27 percent on the lower end to about 32 percent on the higher end but like i said relatively stays the same whereas apes last time we knew owned about 80 percent of the float but that changes hands more often than than not so mixing all of this there's probably if i were to estimate in between about 10 and 15 percent of the overall flow at any given time that is available to be traded so if we see some large players that are looking to buy stakes in amc or even other companies if you guys aren't aware of this actually netflix they have started to lease out theaters not directly from amc but in california so hypothetically if we do see hedge funds or institutions that are more long-term investors or just other companies netflix amazon start to buy a stake in amc then that's where you could see this whole situation where the short sellers, they think there's a lot of demand to buy, to cover these shares back whenever they want. But if the same situation happened with Volkswagen in 2008, where all the available shares pretty much get bought up, then that's really where you're looking at the 100,000 per share of AMC becomes very realistic and a very realistic possibility. So that in short is the situation. That is how AMC could go to $100,000 per share. That is really the freaky truth that the hedge funds and institutions don't want you guys to know about. And the best way to even think about this is something I was thinking about this, trying to wrap my mind around it as well, just to put it in simplest terms for you guys, is say 
AMC had 100 million shares outstanding. Say there's 10% of the free flow that is sold short, that is short interest, and nobody owns any of the shares. So that means 10 million shares are sold short into the open market, 10% short interest. Just to keep this simple, bear with me. Let's say a company bought 90% of the shares. There's still 10 million shares that are sold short that have to be returned to the rightful owners, but now there's only 10% of the outstanding standing shares that are available to be traded so there's 10% of the shares outstanding that can be traded. There's 10% of the original 100% of shares that are sold short. That means there is now the short interest went from 10% all the way to 100%. So if we see some large buyers going into AMC, you could see the short interest go up exponentially. And this is really what the hedge funds institutions don't want you guys to know. And that is where all of the, you know, the value and the potential with the AMC short squeeze comes into play. If eight hold on to their shares because we can collectively act like the the big firm act like porsche with the volkswagen short squeeze that can hold the shares and make that float not be available to be traded now i know some apes they you know buy sell they trade their shares whatever the case is so there's still a large percentage of people that only buy and hold so every single week more people are buying that is less shares that are available in the overall float that the short sellers have to ultimately cover on their short positions so that is really what you guys need to know anything can happen i'm not saying this is directly going to happen but if something like this does happen you could see a huge move in amc and really the whole reason i'm talking about this is because it makes a lot of sense if you're another company if you just want to you know manipulate the market per se there's a lot of questioning around porsche in 2008 if they actually did do this for market manipulation they did end up just buying volkswagen outright they they do own i believe all the shares at this current time but Anyways, if a firm wanted to do this, they could single-handedly, with obviously billions of dollars, cause the AMC MOAS and make a lot of money for themselves as well. Because when AMC does go through the MOAS, it's likely to stay at elevated prices. Just like GameStop went from $4 to $300. AMC also went from $1.50 all the way up to, you know, $70, $80. Now we're sitting at about $40. So there is a lot of opportunity from all spectrums here, and it does make a lot of sense since the fundamentals are getting much better with amc stock this is not like you're buying a bankrupt company this company actually does have a future now and in my opinion a bright future ahead of themselves so that's really what you guys need to know i think this is something that not a lot of people fully understand and this is why the whole ape community has the power and we ultimately dictate the price the more people that buy and hold the better but keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a financial planner or your dad and i'm not saying anything is going to happen i'm just saying this is something you guys need to know if you are buying amc and ultimately playing amc for the short squeeze so that's going to be all for this video hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know what you guys think about this information is this new information to you did you already know this do you want a further in-depth breakdown of this let me know your guys opinion is is a hundred thousand dollars too low too high is it reasonable what's your price target let me know that information your guys opinion is very valuable and if you guys do want to support the channel check out the link for public and weeble down below in the description of this video you guys get totally free stock you can can't go wrong by doing it if you're not signed up with public you literally don't even have to deposit a single dollar or link your bank account to get a free stock it only takes about three minutes time so definitely check that out all the way up to 70 dollars for your free stock also the buy and sellers if you guys want to be notified every time a trade is bought or sold in real time with stock options and or crypto that is available to you to ask me personal questions whatever you guys want to do we have been hitting some big trades over there if you guys are subscribed you probably remember me making a video about I'm going to be shorting Robinhood. That trade did bag us in between 80 and 120% on that trade alone for only about two days time. Also, some other big winners we have had recently. So if you guys want to be a part of it, check that out. But that is going to be all for this video. You guys enjoy the rest of your night and I will see you in the next video.